Sensei Stato in the building. You know what it is, bruh. You know what it is. You idiots. I'm here for another dribble tutorial. As you can see, I'm running to the Gatorade facility. You know what it is, people. I promise the dribble tutorial. You see the moves. Now it's time to teach y'all the moves. And I know what you're thinking. And look, what y'all want to want to do is, you know, go to the Gatorade facility. I know what you're thinking, Steve. Why do I need to learn the moves? Because everybody in this game dribbling, knows oh God, two moves. The, 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 the curry oh, I can't and the him, speed That's so not you a learn these combos. You rim run. These dribble guy I don't care if you shot a three. Even if you, you don't do the whole run. thing, you're going to be oh, ahead man. of the game. You don't want to be predictable and just curry back and forth. You want to hit him with some stuff they ain't never seen before. I've never seen this. What? Stop glitching the game. You dribble. You dribble. Oh, my. Now, as you can see, you want to go to the Gatorade facility, make sure, y'all, this is the only thing you're going to really need. Make sure your controller settings, you want to have, where is it? Pro stick function, absolute. Pro stick function default. Pro stick orientation, absolute. So we are on the same level. And all you're going to need for this video is basically, let's say, basic one spin. And uh, what's the other one? Basic one spin. Yeah, basic one spin, pro two, size up, escape, and then, uh, damn, what's the other one? Pro two crossover. <laughs> and then you want to go here, you feel me? Go to a little Gatorade thing. And this is where we practice dribbling this year. They make you pay for it. Damn, it's already taken. Hold on. Damn, that's already taken too. Bro, are they all taken? Oh my God. What are they? This dude practicing is, is post scoring. Bro. Oh, man. He's post scoring. Look at him. Oh, bro. You just, you going to take my court so you can do hooks? Anywho, we going to the rainbow court. Don't judge. You feel me? And all you want to do, look, they, they charge you this year. It's kind of crazy. But if you ain't got 150 VC, I don't know what the. But yeah, go ahead and buy any. Just, you know, doesn't matter. And you want to make sure you have a ball. So you press L1, you get this ball for free. It's the free ball. And then boom, you are here. You are already a better dribbler because you know where to do the dribble cr practice now. You feel me? But anywho, the first stuff we are going to learn this year, well, I'm going to teach y'all since this is a basic dribble tutorial. I got to go step by step. Last time I taught you how to curry spam, we don't even curry spam. So I don't know. Like, forget that video. We're going to teach you now is the basic one spin, which is that. You see what I'm saying? It's just a quick spin around. Any any style can use this move right here, as you can see. You could be the biggest dribble god or the biggest stage player, the biggest just comp, whatever, casual. And you could use and implement the basic one. You see what I'm saying? And that's basically how we combo up this year. We're going to basic one, then boom, basic one, then boom, basic one. You see what I'm saying? It's the connectors this year that you need to learn. You know, you could use it in a way where you go boom. Or you could just boom, boom, catch him slipping, boom. You see what I'm saying? And where's my controller? Where is my controller, fam? Hold on. Make sure I get my controller on here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the heck is going on, people? Where's the controller, people? Okay, we got that. What the heck is going on? Where's the controller going to be at? Okay, we got the controller right there. There we go. All right, and now we got it. <laughs> I'm sorry I ain't did a dribble disorder this long. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit. Go so like probably, well not that, but like, probably like right there. You see the PS5 controller. Nobody got the PS5 hand cam yet, so bear with me. So yeah, to do the basic one people, you know what I'm saying? You can see, just look at the controller. The, the, the main logic behind it is you need to either be running straight you see with the left stick straight with the left stick or kind of straight at an angle with the outside ball hand so if the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna either be running straight or i'm gonna be kind of running like that without switching the hand and it'll activate the basic one every time so we're just gonna practice is what i want y'all to do boom and see it'll give you the spin you want to spin from at least i want to say anywhere from nine o'clock to six o'clock not even nine, yeah, nine o'clock to six o'clock counter, uh, counterclockwise with the right stick. See, 
then it'll give you the spin. Now, if you're too much running to the left, say the ball's in your left hand, say you're running too much over here, it's not going to give you the right spin. It'll give you that spin, you see? But if you run in a straight line or a little bit kind of like curved to the right diagonal up, you'll get the good one, see? So that's basically the logic behind the basic one spin. So boom, you want to make sure you get those down this year because nothing in this game really brings you backwards. That's kind of the problem. It doesn't really bring you backwards. So this move right here, is the move that brings you backwards. You see? Big greens, you know what it is, bruh. You know what it is! Now, anywho, um, after you do the basic blunt spin, you're gonna wanna learn what we call, I think BD combo kills, they call it the connectors, which is that move right there. And that's, it's actually fairly simple. You need dribble style LeBron James or quick. I forgot to mention that. Dribble style LeBron James or quick because that's really important for the it's all left stick this year so just practice like running backwards and then look you see so if you're running backwards with you know the ball in your in your right hand you just want to press r2 and then like diagonal up left to get the the little connector and the connectors are like that and then you could do like a behind the back out of it diagonal down or you could do the basic one spin watch so run backwards boom you see it's all just connecting together. These are the connectors this year. I know it looks goofy right now, but once you get it all down, people, you're gonna see that you could do stuff. Up, up, you see what I'm saying? Look, and that's how you pretty much combo up like there. So you wanna practice it though. Like I said, the basic one spin, as long as you got in mind that, say the ball's in your right hand, you gotta run straight or kinda diagonal. Like this one, you got to kind of run either straight or diagonal left. It'll get the good one. If you run too much to the right, it'll give you the bad one. So it's all about the angle with the basic one spin and then running backwards and then pressing, boom, he'll just do the flip. Same thing with the other hand. Watch this. Run backwards. Boom. You see? You just want to get that connector. As long as you're holding R2 and then you kind of look at the, the controller, look. So you're going backwards. Boom. You could just keep doing the connectors and then essentially once you get those down that's how you're going to be able to do stuff like this you see what i'm saying up up boom yeah you get what i'm saying and that's how you do the the long combos this year you get what i'm saying so now there are many ways you could get creative with it into how to get in the connectors like you do the fake whoop d which is like hold up with the left stick left diag diagonal left up with the left stick and then diagonal down right with the right stick at the same time you'll do this and then you could flip it do that see what i'm saying uh when you're running backwards you could do a half spin so run backwards and then press like 12 to i think 12 to 9 while you're running backwards with the ball in your right hand with the right stick and you'll do that you see what i'm saying so you could just do all types of stuff that's another one you want to learn too, because then anything you could do in this game, you can probably just run backwards, do the backwards half spin, and it'll get into your combo. Up, up, sideways will give you the double cross. You can spin out of that, and then diagonal down. It's just, you could get so creative with it, like I said. But basically, you just want to learn what the basic one spin is and what the connectors are. And that's pretty much what you need to learn this year, to just to do any combo. And that's pretty much that. Um, I know a couple y'all wonder how do you do the hard and step back all you know the long one You just gotta have step back pro 3 on and then r2 and then down and he'll do the long step back You see you could even do the flip to get into it So watch this say the balls in your left hand you do the hard and step back Then you want to hold the left stick diagonal down right while holding r2 and then do a half spin So boom 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 you see what I'm saying? There's just so many ways you could just connect everything. You're doing my jump shot. I dropped my jump shot as well. Go watch my jump shot. Green light video. If you want my full six, go watch my how to dribble video. I'll give you the full six. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, that's pretty much how you do combos this year. Not really much more to it, y'all. And another spin. This is that was that was pretty much the basic part of the tutorial. But for the people that want my advanced stuff, I'm gonna give y'all another one. Like I said, this is the 18 Stizo spin. Now, this move is really, really, really frustrating and difficult. It's probably one of the hardest moves in the game. Not because it's hard to do, but because you need a certain step back to do it. And that's... 
All right, for breaking this move down, what you wanna do is you wanna hold down with the left stick and then hold up with the right stick. And you saw that little jump back in the beginning, cause I'm gonna break it down step by step. So hold down with the left stick, hold up with the right stick till you get that jump back. That is a backwards moving size up and you can do it. That's the easiest way to do it. You don't always get that animation, which is why it's frustrating, but you wait until you get this precise jump back animation and then you see how I'm holding down in R2 after I do the jump back to get them to turn around. That's basically what you wanna do. So going step by step, hold down with the left stick and up with the right stick. Use R2 and down with the left stick till he turns around. And as soon as the ball switches hands, you saw him run backwards and start to switch hands. You're gonna wanna continue to hold R2 and down and then spin your right stick from about nine o'clock to 12 o'clock clockwise. And you have to do it at the most precise time. If you do it too late, he won't do it. You have to get the timing down. You get what I'm saying? And the timing for me, what I do in my head is I do it, I do the jump back, I wait for him to turn around and then I kind of spin the ball. You know, I spin the right stick as soon as he turns around. And in real time, by the time he turns around, that'll give you the, the visual cue to spin from the right stick from nine to 12 o'clock. And then he'll get the Super 18 Steezo spin. And it's one of the most glitchiest moves in the game. It's actually the hardest move, I say, because you don't always get that jump back animation. But when you do, like I said, you hold R2 and down, wait for him to turn around. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, dribbling this year, it's kind of funny. They took away a lot of stuff. People could compare it to like old dribbling, blah, blah, blah. But that really doesn't do anything, people. What is the point of you comparing it to an old 2K? No 2K's dribbling is, is like the old one. 17 was different from 18. 19 was different from 18. 20 was super different than everything. And then 21 is super different too. It's like, don't compare dribbling to old 2Ks, compare it to what they left it with and you will appreciate it more. Everybody that I've seen hate on the game dribbling, like on the dribbling, what it looks like now, they don't have the game yet. So they don't know how hard it is this year. Everything forces you forward this year. Look, I could go backwards and it's just gonna force me right forward. I can't sideways dribble this year to that extent. I could, the most sideways you're gonna get is like this. And then do you see how it forces me forward? So they really did like went OD this year on dribbling, like nerfs, the devs. And you see, we still are glitchy. We still are finding stuff. It's what the game been out for like a week and a half. And we already have all these glitchy, you know, dribble sigs. So that just goes to show y'all like you can't really hate on it too much until you get the game and you figure out how hard this stuff is. Stop comparing it to old 2Ks. I don't care what we did in old 2Ks. Compare it to what they gave us this year and what everyone else is doing. 90% of everybody in the game dribbles like this. Everybody in the game dribbles like this, bruh. So if you could be more flashier, if this is what they wanted you to dribble like, and we still are doing our thing, then it's like, come on, people. Come on. That's what you have to compare it to. You see what I'm saying? Stop comparing it to the other stuff. We are breaking it. And once you get this stuff down, you will learn new stuff too, I promise. And you'll be ahead of the game. And yeah, that pretty much covers it for today's dribble tutorial. Like I said, we didn't get too advanced because I still need to teach y'all when we still are learning every day, basically. But I still need to teach y'all the connectors and the basics. Otherwise, you won't understand how to do the other ones. A lot of y'all don't even have the game yet. You know what I'm saying? But now when you have the game, you don't got to go through what we went through, which was just thinking there was no hope there's still hope you know what i'm saying and i doubt 2k is gonna revert any dribbling so you pretty much are gonna have to just make the best of what we got here i don't care if you don't like it like i said it's still hard if anything this is probably the hard this is the biggest challenge to dribblers this year they literally took away all our dribble moves except for curry slides and momentum and slow momentums and speed boosting if you could find out how to do anything this year, you deserve the most praise, bro. Because you are on another level of creating. While everyone else is complaining and just accepting the situation, you refusing and still creating and still doing your thing. And that's commendable. That is respectable. And I just want to give a shout out to a couple of dribblers that just been, that I've seen that are still innovating and still pushing the culture forward. Shout out to BD. Shout out to Combo Kill. Shout out to Obatic. Shout out to Two Gravy. 
see Dreezy stacks. Just who else am I missing? Uh, Quan Diesel, Fly Kid. There's so many dribblers I'm, I'm missing, but people with the right attitude. That's just like we're not really complaining as much. We accepted our situation and we ain't gonna let it stop us. That's some real stuff right there. I commend y'all for that. That's the type of attitude we need this year. Because if we just sit here and wait for the 2K devs to change something, we gonna be asked out. Like we we ain't, you know we ain't gonna have nothing. They 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 don't care that we don't like the game. If anything, they're taking that as a W that all of us are sitting on Twitter complaining and stuff like that. Yes, we got him. You ain't got nothing, Mike Wang. You ain't got nothing. You will never stop me. If anything, you made me go back to my original roots, which is the 18 dribble style. I feel like I was 18 again. I'm spinning again. I'm happy. And I got y'all with the tutorials all year. Like I said, it's all love, people. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe. Turn them noties on. Advanced dribble tutorials coming all year. You know Sensei Steve's got y'all. I'm out. You see the PS5 controller, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was hard to get. That was hard to get. The game pad viewer don't work on that, but anyone anyway, talk too much. Y'all have a beautiful day. Like, subscribe, turn notice on for the next bit. We grinding. I'm out, y'all. Peace.